Hello and welcome. This is Rufa Monger, my friends. We have some fun announcements today. The City of Wolves, the new Fatal Fury entry. We finally have some actual details about the game. The game was announced a good long while ago at this point, and then sort of radio silence, just the briefest of, you know, gameplay snippets, just a brief look at what the game might actually look like, and now we're getting more than a brief look. We have some actual gameplay details, some mechanics, and also some characters, and as well, the actual game itself. Uh, slightly cleaned up from how it was before. As you can tell just by looking at it, the game looks sharp. The game looks good. Ever since SNK sort of transitioned to 3D, uh, people have always kind of critiqued that, you know, the visual flair maybe isn't all the way there, but here I think they've really, really nailed it. And we'll talk about that more in a second, but yes, you're seeing this correctly. It does come out 2025 and early 2025, which is frankly earlier than I'd thought it'd be. So that's very welcome. I'm definitely down for it. More SNK goodness? Yes, please. Now, to note on the trailers, so what you're looking at here was when they originally debuted the game, Rock Prepping for the Raging Storm, and have this in direct comparison to the modern trailer. You can see a much more colorful, much more vibrant, not that it wasn't even colorful before, but it just more so now, a clear artistic vision in here, sort of like posterization on the background, outlines on the character themselves, everything just has a super sharp, super clean look. Reminds me almost like Street Fighter 4, not obviously like the uh, visuals as not all inky, right? Like Street Fighter 4 was, but that they just have a clear visual design and they're aiming for something specific. Now, let's talk gameplay and characters because we actually finally have a look at how the game's gonna work and the characters that'll be in the game. Obviously not the full roster just yet, but some pretty impressive choices. So modern fighting games, so modern fighting game mechanics, not so much days of top in anymore, right? We're not going to be doing that. Or hey, maybe we are. We just don't know yet. But here's what we know so far. Just like, say, Street Fighter 6 has the drive system and everything is drive something. Here in City of the Wolves, we have the rev system. And everything's going to be related to exactly that. As you can see by the meter here, we're revving up. We have a percentage-based meter, which I'm assuming is the rev meter, and also two meters below that, which maybe is a more classic style of fighting game super meter. So for rev mechanics, first we see rev guard, and this very much reads like a classic style of push block you would see in, say, a versus fighter. If you spend perhaps whatever your rev meter may be, this is a get off me while I'm blocking. As you can see here, one character is attacking, and basically they're being pushed away from each other while they're attacking. So the defender is doing the rev guard and keeping the opponent out. So if you want to create space between the two characters, perhaps even fun whiff punish scenarios, this could be the way to do it. We have the rev blow, which uh, frankly is difficult to get a gauge on what exactly this is other than the character is glowing green, and it sure seems to suck to get hit by this because there's a giant explosion. And usually when you get hit and there's a giant explosion, that's probably not good news for you. We have Rev Arts, which basically looks like the classic EX move in any given game. Usually has a different name, whatever game you're in here, it's Rev Arts. You can see the glow. It looks like Rock's just doing double Rapugan, and Terry is going for a Burn Knuckle EX version or Rev Art version. However, enter the Rev Excel, and this looks sassy. This looks like we can cancel special moves into other special moves. And that's kind of a cool feature if you ask me. So like here, Terry cancels Burn Knuckle into Crack Shoot. And then we have Rock here. You can see here he's going for HP Elbow. I'm assuming HP Elbow anyways. And on the hit, you get the cancel, blue shadows everywhere, and then going into rising tackle, right? So the blue shadows, uh, to me anyways, is indicative of the Rev Excel cancel. Now, obviously this kind of freeformness is gonna cost you some of that meter, that Rev meter, right? But also, once again, it's free form. This is gonna make combo structure super cool if we can just go in like special into special into special into super or something akin to that. And here as well, so okay, we get the Rev Excel cancel, see the blue shadows going to Rising Tackle, and then this is canceled into the green Rev Blow that we saw earlier. So there's gonna be multiple points of a combo where you can cancel something into canceling something into canceling something. So without knowing ahead of time, 
I can only say that I'm excited for what combo structure in this game is gonna look like. Cause to me, just going off what we can see here, it's already looking pretty dang cool in my books. Also, even this only for the briefest of moments here after we're done here, Rock after going into the rev blow, we can see it starts beginning the process of doing a super. And here we get that like really super sick stylization, that really cool effect going on here. And Rock has like the classic angel wings. So looking good, looking good. And now we have that, right? But we also have the characters. So we got two trailers today. We had the systems trailer, the brief little teaser, and also a character trailer and also a voice actor. You may notice the voice actors, they have, you know, English names because this game will have English voice acting. Rare for SNK games to say the least. And uh, it's a sign that they're really going the extra mile for this game. And hey, the characters, right? We have Hotaro, we have Tzok, and we also got somebody new. We have Precha. So she's all new to the franchise. Now, Rock and Terry, hey, we all know Rock and Terry. Hotaru and Tzok, if you played the original Mark of the Wolves back in the day, you probably know them. Tzok, very suspiciously like the King of Dinosaurs, although in the King of Fighters timeline, the King of Dinosaurs killed Tzok, so obviously he's got nothing to do with them there. Tzok's just lucky that in this timeline, King of Dinosaurs doesn't exist to send him running, I suppose. But yeah, Preta, all new, and of course, naturally there'll be more characters to be announced. I'm sure more classics and also more new characters as well. Preta specifically may be taking the role of Joe Higashi's student in the never fully realized Garou Mark of the Wolves 2 sequel. Doesn't necessarily look exactly the same, but when we get to the gameplay bits, I think you'll agree that she has some Joe Higashi elements to her. And hey, speaking of the gameplay bits, let's rewind just a little bit here and let's go through all the characters. Obviously, uh, people like Tzok pulling off some cool stuff, but everybody's pulling off cool stuff. So let's start with Rock. So for Rock, certain things like the break version of his rising tackle, like say KOF 15, still very much there going into the elbow. And then we got some tricky stuff here. Because we're looking at the new gameplay systems and we got cancels into cancels. Command run side swap into rev excel cancel into the command grab into canceling that into the rev blow. So quick gimmick cancel into Shinku Nage cancel into an even bigger hit. That'll make you feel real bad. That's like getting hit with like a Zangief gimmick, but on a character like Rock Howard, who's uh, certainly more capable, unfortunately, than Zangief, right? So this is already showcasing the relative power of these system mechanics. And this is obviously, I'm sure, just like the tip of the iceberg, right? But yeah, so canceling stuff into command grabs and canceling your command grabs into even more damage, it'll work out. Another one here, this is actually what we saw before, but a Rev Art EX version of Elbow, Rev XL cancel into Rising Tackle, cancel into the Rev Blow. Here, close normal, Rev Art EX Elbow, Rev XL cancel into Power Dunk, and then Super Cancel into Shine Knuckle. And the systems are so crazy, we gotta really slow down. So EX Run, Low, Rev XL Cancel into EX Elbow, then Rev XL Cancel into Rising Tackle Break, and then we can see the flash here. So from the Rising Tackle Break, then we're going into Raging Storm. So starting with an EX move, then two Rev XL Cancels into other specials, and then a Super. This system is gonna be pretty crazy, y'all. So for Terry out of the gate, looks like we got a bit of a target combo going on. Two punches followed by a kick. And this uh, maybe is inspired by what's already in Garou Mark of the Wolves. So same deal, two punches here to start off. Then we have a shoulder, although here in the trailer we have a kick, but maybe now he has multiple enders. Maybe he has a punch ender and a kick ender to the target combo. And here, more classic goodies from the original Goro. You may notice here, so Terry's going for a hit, seems to hit him with something and spins out of it, then goes for burn knuckle, right? So this move is actually the classic power dunk. In the original Goro, if you hit LP and LK it right before the move would go into its full completion, you would spin out of the move and cancel the move. But here, you retain the launch property without going into the whole move, and you can just follow it up and also Seemingly, because there's no like particle effects, meterlessly as well. This is older, wiser Terry, so he has a lot of his cool old tricks back now. This is neat to see. 
And now next up in the sequence here, we're just going to be putting a lot of these new mechanics together into one very freeform style combo that looks pretty dang cool. And also, there's a bounce at the end we don't follow up on, so they don't even show everything. But EX Burn Knuckle, Rev Excel Cancel into Crack Shoot, bounces. Then we go into a Power Dunk Break Cancel, rejuggles the enemy, and then we go into an uh, actual, like, uh, I'm assuming EX Power Dunk with a, has a rising tackle into a dunk built into it, and then it ends. So, yeah, there's some fancy stuff going on here. Already said it a few times, but looks like the combo expression, just what you're able to do, is going to be very freeform and very expressive. And then we get whatever this is. So Rock attempts to jump in and there's like a big glowing orb around Terry. This may be what Just Defense was back in the day, returning with a new fancy visual effect. And again here, more Rev Excel cancels into the big fancy green Rev Blow cancel. And here we see Terry, his super. So of course, are you okay? Buster Wolf. I feel there could be a bit more particle effects. Just go crazy, but looks good. Next up, Hotaru Futaba. She has not been around in a game playable for quite some time. And now making a re-debut here in City of the Wolves. Learned some things while she was away here. We got some fancy new target combos. And seemingly some new break moves as well as she's going into what is effectively her uppercut and able to break it just like Terry, just like Rock, and then goes into her quarter circle back heavy punch, which is just a big multi-hitting special. And we get a lovely sequence here, showcasing a bunch of her moves at once using these new crazy systems where you can cancel everything into everything. So let's start here at the top here. So looks like close heavy into EX fireball, Excel canceled into her uppercut, and then that is Rev Excel cancelled into uh, what is effectively like a similar to like a dive kick style special move. And she has like a normal dive kick as well, but this is a special. But yeah, so once again here, the gameplay system seemed to be the real star here, as it just allows you to go into crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. Next, Crouch Heavy Punch into an enhanced version of Quarterstickle Back Kick, which launches, and then just we can go directly into her Rush Super, which is basically just multiple strikes, followed by a Mega Spin. Simple, effective, easy combo. Then we have this. So EX, Quarterstickle Back Punch, and this is Rev Excel Cancelled into EX, Quarterstickle Back Kick to launch, and then Fancy Flash, I'm assuming this is like the higher level of Super, and then she goes into her traditional Famous Super. Famous why, you might ask? Well, funnily enough, they cut right at the end. So, uh, <laughs> if you don't know, this super is traditionally what we would call suggestive. I'll leave you to decide where you're on the fence on that one, but uh, Hotaru is certainly Hotaru and returns in the game. And hey, speaking of returning, Garou's resident grappler Tzok is back. Bird motif and everything, and he's slamming and dunking people just like the old days. And in fact, let's just kind of go over it. So first his hop grab returns, it's a short jump, and if it catches you standing still, turns into a big old Frankensteiner. Now this one's a bit new to grow. So uh, rushing forward and grabbing the enemy, he may have learned that from his dire nemesis, the King of Dinosaurs over in KOF. After all, good wrestlers innovate, great wrestlers steal. So thanks for the idea for a move, King of Dinosaurs. So we got leaping grabs, we got running grabs, what else do we got? So this guy here, the big suplex, is actually just his regular grab. But being a grappler, a regular grab's gotta be just a little bit more special, right? So his regular grab has a follow-up. So in Goro, it's down forward, down forward HP, it could be whatever in this game. But yeah, after the suplex, if you do the follow-up, you're going to a body splash, just to be a bit extra special. Go for the pin, go for the cover, get that one, two, three. Another classic throw for Tzok is effectively throwing you into the ropes, as it were. So you bounce off and then you get your head kicked all the way in. So uh, different from Guru, where you would throw them quote unquote into the ropes and then you do whatever follow up. It looks like the follow up is now baked in. It's now just part of the move. Although it looks suitably vicious as a big boot. So I'm very down for it. Looks cool and a really good just shot of like how the art style works in this game. Next, we see going for EX Clothesline. He does have Clothesline specials. 
going into the big flash, so designating more dramatic super, into what is his rush super, so just multi-hits. And we're not seeing so much on the really big grabs, because he definitely has them. Although I suppose you gotta save something for future trailers. But yeah, don't worry, t still very much a grab master in this game. And then we have our all new character. So being all new, it's maybe not the easiest to get a grasp on everything that's going on. Although there are some things that are just a little bit familiar that can kind of give us a little bit of a hint. So let's have a look back here and do the slow-mo thing. So first, a very much crouching Hotaru gets sniped by the overhead, and then we get grabbed by what seems to be kind of like your basic forward throw. Lots of knee strikes, and also lots of elbows, what you're seeing here. So Muay Thai influence, it would look like. And also certainly a lot of wind and tornado effects happening. Like here, just a big old wallop of a super. Once again, leaving those particle effects behind. And then here is the dead giveaway, right? So another super. And like, hey, these uppercuts, I know these uppercuts, especially how it ends with a big vertical tornado. This is straight out of Joe Higashi's playbook. So Precha is either Joe's student or even perhaps Joe's daughter. If you're unaware, the Garou timeline is set further in the future. So lots of the longstanding SNK characters have either their disciples or children in the games. And Precha is using Muay Thai and she shoots those tornadoes. So basically can't be inspired by anyone but Joe. And we see more stuff here like things inspired by Joe's moveset without exactly being the same moves. Although I know what they're going for, but this actually looks like Ken Street Fighter 6 Dragon Lash, but whatever, I guess. That's just the Vietnam trauma from that dumb move, right? But then we go into the big cinematic super. Everyone's got the cool effects going on and Preacher is certainly no different. We get that big wind up punch. She seems to be pretty good at that and then just kind of poses a little bit, then absolutely obliterates you with the right hand. Vicious stuff. And that's what we got out of City of the Wolves. So we went from knowing basically nothing, frankly, to now we have a vague idea of gameplay mechanics, not a full idea, and also an idea of what some of the characters may be doing. And also, did you miss that? Everyone's doing the super pose, winding up to do their cool thing. Hey, that's what fighting game characters do, right? That's why we're here. And then we hit Rock. And uh, Rock is not doing Raging Storm. He's doing Power Geyser. That's Terry's move. Now, we've already seen Rock, obviously enough, has Raging Storm still. However, this seems like, you know, progressing the story naturally enough. This is even more of a Terry influence on the character as he's learning some of his signature moves. Things don't remain static forever. So yeah, expect a lot of classic characters to have all new things. We've already seen some of that already in this trailer with new moves and new properties. And yeah, it's gonna be just be really interesting to see how this all goes. And once again, this is happening early next year. So you can expect a lot more trailers and you know, the leading months, especially coming up to Evo and all that. Uh, if we're lucky, just like say King of Fighters, we might have a beta or two. Never hurts to get people hype, especially, you know, get people try your game that maybe never tried the original Fatal Fury games. They're pretty good. There's a reason the name Garo, Mark of the Wolves, has persisted for so many decades at this point, because it's a true classic. So looking forward to seeing who exactly is going to return. I'm not going to lie. I already got Tzok, so I'm kind of good on the returning characters personally. And hey, to keep it honest, not a big fan of Kim Kapuan's dumb sons either. And hey, if we could get Marco back, actually, I'd be pretty down for that. Obviously, new characters, we already have one. Although she's very much like, say, a Joe transplant, but that's a good way to get what are nominally King of Fighters characters into Fatal Fury. And hey, don't be afraid to necessarily put KOF characters in here. Like, say, KOF Geese. King of Fighters Geese Howard isn't dead, unlike Fatal Fury Geese Howard. There you go. I figured it out. I figured out the loophole. Now you can have Geese back in the game. Like, hey, frankly, let's get all the way real here. Yeah, is he dead technically in the Fatal Fury timeline? Sure, whatever. Geese Howard is too much of a money character to leave out of this game. The lore from a million years ago, whatever, just kind of bleach it out or just figure out like something like really lame to bring him back. He's too much money. He'll sell copies of the game. He'll bring in people that otherwise wouldn't play the game. So figure out some way to bring back Geese Howard because it'll make you more money. That's me being cynical, but it's also the God's honest truth. 
So that all said, this looks really cool. I'm really digging this. I really want to see more and hopefully sooner rather than later we will. But until then, that is the end of the video. So thank you very much for watching. Hope this video has found you well and go out and play some City of the Wolves.